what's up my final last it's miss fina d coming to you all from fina team and news due to most of you being aware of the whole situation between kiki palmer and the father of her child i'm going to jump straight into current news and then at the end i'm going to include a backstory for those of you who probably have no clue what's been going on and how it got this bad page six is reporting that kiki palmer is accusing the father of her child darius jackson of physical and emotional abuse and she also filed restraining order against him kiki filed a temporary restraining order in la on thursday in conjunction with requesting sole legal and physical custody of their eight-month-old son in the court documents kiki alleged that there have been many instances of physical violence with Jackson that includes destroying personal property, throwing her belongings into the street, throwing her car keys to prevent her from driving away, hitting her, oh my goodness, in front of their son, bringing profanity about her to their son, threatening to kill himself with a gun if she left him, harassment and other physical and emotional abuse. Oh my goodness, this is so sad. Kiki did say that they broke up about a month ago, but she has security footage of him trespassing on her property without her knowledge or consent. She said that he threatened her, then physically attacked her, lunging for her neck, striking her, throwing her over the couch, and stealing her phone when she told him she was going to call the police. Kiki is very private and have an image to uphold. So when all of this was going on, allegedly, he probably never thought that she was going to ever go public with this information because she's a very private person. This is so sad and I just wish her the best with her son. This is just terrible. She continued that she finally ended things for good in early October due to the physical and emotional abuse inflicted by her ex. After news broke about this, he tweeted, I love you, son. See you soon. Mm, mm, mm. This entire situation is so sad. I'm praying for Kiki and her son and just everything that she's experiencing right now. And we will wait to get more information, but I am praying for her strength. Because I'm sure he will eventually respond, either defending himself or apologizing, but we shall see. But as more information is released, I will be back with an updated video. When Kiki started dating Darius, his ex posted this video on TikTok. When he gets you pregnant, presses you to have an abortion and three weeks later he booed up with kiki palmer but when she realized all of the backlash she was getting she took the video down removed kiki name and then covered it up with those emojis on the screen there are comments like she's mad laughing face emojis at least you dodge a bullet be grateful for what you have and don't have girl just be glad you did it and you're not out here looking stupid Trying to have a baby out of spite. We have more comments. Girl, bye. Y'all always come after Kiki's new booze. I see why she keep them secret. She's whack. Bye, bitter. I hate your type. Yuck. Yeah, I don't know if I believe Kiki has this bad of luck with men, but he is an Aquarius. I hope it's false. People defending Kiki and saying this lady was simply bitter trying to warn her. You had comments like, Kiki, run girl terrible but i'll be so grateful not to be stuck with a man like that for the rest of my life i'm pro-life but you dodge a bullet baby girl and then you had more comments see that's why kiki so private of course someone was gonna come out of nowhere with a bow behind every famous woman is a man with an angry ex so basically you have people going back to this story and they're like wait a minute you know there was a girl saying some not so pleasant things about him and she got dragged because you know kiki is i mean that's kiki palmer although i understand that people who are saying oh my goodness i wish she had listened she tried to warn her she could have all of this i always said that in a very video the god bless attitude being positive at all times seeing the good in every situation and so the positive and the good in this is look at how happy she is with her son that's the good and the blessing out of this terrible situation like i said i am lifting kiki up in my prayers now two days ago she did post this video that you're watching on the screen and let's go ahead and get into her caption real quick about her son she wrote step in with my boy leo you bring me so much joy my son mommy waited so long for you and you were certainly worth the wait 
I can't wait until you're older and we can go to the movies together, camp, improv, bench, TV shows, cook, and all the other endless things I dream of doing with you. Jump around real quick because it's getting late and I do want to upload this video. Nothing can beat me because I have my boy by my side. You are the love of my life. Your queen's mama might be somewhere in these comments. Ha ha ha. I'm raising him right, Miss Girl. Now, before all of this happened, a few months ago, you all are aware of the Usher situation. But because it's old and there are some people who might not be aware, I'm going to leave you with that story about how all of this drama or any type of friction within their relationship publicly started. Like I've said over and over again, I am praying for Kiki and her family and her son to care. Well, Kiki went to see Usher and most of you know that when she was out there, you know, a video came out, he was serenading her and she was just all over him. You know, he was very friendly with her dress was see-through on the bottom part. It was a lot going on, okay? Now, her man, the father of her child, went on Twitter and he tweeted this. It's the outfit, though. You a mom. We live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others, and he gets told how much of a hater he is. This is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case. At the beginning of all of this, the issue wasn't that he had a problem with her dress. The issue was, why are you doing it publicly? Talk to her when she gets home. Kiki is not someone who's in drama all over social media, the internet. Don't do that to her. Talk to her in private. Don't attempt to embarrass her publicly. Then you have the other side where she wore that dress publicly, so he had the right to embarrass her publicly. It was just this huge debate. So it went from people defending Kiki to then people dragging Kiki because they felt like she broke up with him because of that. And they were saying, you allow these single women to now make you a single mother. It was a hot mess. And to add insult to injury, Kiki then starred in Usher video for his song, Boyfriend. So people were just like, oh, she's so disrespectful. She went ahead and launched merch about this situation. And then she started in the video with the man and then the song is boyfriend but i'm like she's a boss and she's a businesswoman what are y'all talking about so people just felt like oh yeah they are really over and then he art carved majority of their pictures on social media so people have been in her business and coming for her but on her birthday he posted this birthday message right here Cut. <laughs> Let him cook. Let him cook. With this video, and then they have the Instagram live together. It's happy birthday to me, yeah? It is happy birthday. I've linked this video in the description below, so you don't have to sit through it. It's old. My whole point is, when all of that happened, it was nice to see them together, out as a family, moving forward from all of it. But of course, we had no clue this was going on behind the scenes. Now, Darius' brother allegedly flipping all of this on Kiki and basically saying she's actually the one that is doing all of the things that she's accusing his brother of allegedly. And basically insinuating that because she's Kiki Palmer, of course, everyone is going to run to her defense and believe her and all of that. And that's the reason why I said I was just, you know, report the story as more information comes out. But I'm going to go ahead and read what he tweeted and delete it and then we're going to go ahead and end it his brother tweeted the most disgusting vile abusive manipulative person i have ever encountered in my entire life abuses almost everyone y'all will see just send positive energy to the babies any child in the middle of something like this does not deserve it at all wow so sad can't say that word the reason why people are saying he's not talking about his brother and defending kiki he's talking about kiki is because when he tweeted i will see praying for everyone involved our child is involved as well and like i said as more information is released i will be back with more updates i'm wishing all of you well and take care my loves thank you all for your love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up 
Also, turn on notifications so when I do post you where I post it, and I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.